Hey everybody, Anthony here. I'm gonna do a quick review on this mainstream tropic kayak. Uh, I haven't seen any kind of like visual reviews on this kayak, this type of brand model. So uh, hopefully uh, my review helps somebody out there who's looking to get one of these, and it helps them out in, in, in the decision. You know, they are pretty cheap, like price-wise. Um, I got this one for 150 bucks. It's a nine-foot kayak. Um, I bought it back like in January end of January, but uh, I wasn't even into this type of kayak at 9 footer. You know, I'm 6'3". At the time, I weighed 220, and uh, I was looking for something that was like 12 feet and longer, so that was all my reviews that I did, all my researching was all about kayaks that were 12 feet and longer, but you know, they were pretty pricey, you know, even the used ones, so I ended up crossing this one a few times, and the cheapest one I saw at the time was like 330 bucks, same model, same design, everything. You know, it was for 3:30, and I said, "Well, I don't. I'm not interested in looking at it, even though it's cheap. Um, you know, nine foot kayak's not gonna do it for me." So, anyway, I ended up stumbling upon this one, and the ad was for 150 bucks. And I said, "Hey, you know what? That's pretty cheap. Cheap enough for me. It's my first kayak. I can buy it and learn from it. What I can do, what I can't do on it. And when I get the more expensive kayak, you know, I can learn from this one, the do's and don'ts. So uh, that's how I ended up getting this little nine foot kayak." for a 6'3", 215 pound guy. Um, anyway, I'll go down, I'll do the review, I'll break it down and I'll do the review. So, let me get this stuff off here. Yeah. I attached it over there, I didn't know that. Floating device. All right, first of all, this thing's pretty freaking light. Uh, I live upstairs, so I bring it up and down, down the stairs and mount it by myself. I'll show you how easy it is to bring it down and how light it is. Start off with just taking one down at a time. The other one, I'm gonna watch out for my bag. I should put my bag first, but I didn't. There you go. That's pretty much how I like this thing is. Um, I'll show you a little demonstration here. It's got a little grab grab rails on the side. This zitter here, picking it up. Pretty simple, pretty light. Um, I throw it in the back of my pickup, just drop it down, go to the beach and launch it from the beach. Just carry this in my backpack and my fishing rods and a little fishing crate and lunch pail. I'm good to go. Let me get a drink of this before I get started. Mmm. Ah, that is good. Ah, second one's even better. Alright, enough dicking around. Alright. As you can see, when I got home, I measured it off. Um, first of all, let me take this off. I mounted this Alright, so, um, when I bought the kayak from the guy, he, um, he had gotten this kayak from a friend who had just moved, and so he took it over, and uh, basically he had really no room to keep it anywhere, so he kind of kept it in his front yard, so he decided to get rid of it, and hopefully that's, I mean, I think that's why I ended up picking it up pretty cheap, just kind of wanted to get it out of the way. But anyway, when I bought it, it came with the seat, and it came with the paddle, and that cute, it's like all matching colors. Um, I've added a bunch of accessories on it already. Um, because the main purpose of buying this was to turn it into like a fishing kayak. Um, so I've already added a lot of stuff already. Um, I'll make another video on all the things I added to the kayak if you guys are interested. And if you want to see like my little progress I made on it after I bought it and, and turned it into a fishing kayak. So um, stay tuned for videos for that if you're interested in that stuff. Um, anyway, this is just a, a visual review of the kayak. So when I got home, I measured it off. It was... um. One eighth of an inch shy of nine feet, so we'll call it a, a true nine foot kayak. It's thirty inches wide. Um, I'm thinking it's probably about thirty five to forty pounds weight, um, and I think the max capacity weight on it is either from two two twenty five to two fifty. Now, I did a 
do a review on this when I got home after I bought it and um, I typed in mainstream tropic kayak and what happened was um, Islander tropic kayak popped up and uh, so I think that company ended up buying out mainstream so um, there was really no reviews on this nobody's on YouTube has made a review on this or anything like a visual review so um, hopefully I help out somebody out there uh, so first of all the plastic on this kayak is very strong solid all the way around this kayak there's no soft spots so um, it's pretty pretty tough for uh, you know only being 35 to 40 pounds and um, the only soft spot I found in this kayak so far is underneath the seat right here by the crotch area I don't know if you can see that it kind of bows in but other than that it's solid all the way around it's a very tough kayak so it came with this handle in front it came with one in the back and it uh, has a drain plug so the scratch marks I've already done on it um, didn't come with any of these iPads. I installed all that. Um, I installed a fish fish rod holder. Um, has four scupper holes in front and two in the back in the rear seat area. Um, comes with these pretty cool like little uh, handrails right here, like a little tray area. You can put things inside there. Um, water bottle holder, another water bottle holder where you can lie flat down. Um, now it came with this little indention right here in the back behind the seat. Um, I have no idea what really that is really good for. Because um, it didn't come with these iPads. Um, there are actually like some factory holes right here. So, but even if you put a lunch pail in there, it's just going to slide around. So I built this custom crate for it to fit in there nice and snug. Um, what else? Let me, let me flip it over so you guys can see the bottom of it. This is the bottom of it. Front, work our way towards the back. It's a pretty flat kayak. Um, and it's a pretty stable kayak too. This is the keel right here. It's pretty, uh, pretty shallow. A kayak, uh, a keel. It's not that big. And for it not being so big, it, this kayak tracks pretty good. Um, this is the sides. So that's the view of the bottom. Let me flip it back over. Um, so when I went out in the bay, when I first took it out, I went towards the wakes of boats, and uh, this thing handled the wakes pretty good. Like during the second wave, after you went over the first one, this, the front end kind of dug into the wake, and water kind of splashed in here. Um, I'm going to tell you, you're going to get very wet in this kayak. It sits pretty low, um, and uh, I also angle myself alongside the wakes to see if it flipped me over, tipped me over, and didn't even feel like I was going to flip over whatsoever. Um, like I said, it's going to be a really wet ride. You sit pretty low in this thing. Don't mind my carpet. It's all stained. I got little two little girls. Um, there's like the side view of it. How low you kind of you, you really sit in this thing. And uh, while I was in it, when I did the stability test, I started rocking back and forth in it. And uh, I didn't feel like I was going to fall over or flip over, but what was happening, because you sit so low in the water, water was splashing over the sides right here. Not a lot, but a little bit was coming in. Um, like I said, you're going to get wet in this ride no matter what. Um, I even with some scupper plugs, invested some scupper plugs, put them in, and water still ends up getting in, like I said, off the sides or the front and from your the drips from your paddle. Um, now, when I was paddling this thing, only being a nine foot kayak, um, it, it, I felt like I was kicking some ass in it. Like I was going pretty fast and, you know, I probably was only going like a mile an hour. I'm probably going really slow, but, um, uh, it felt comfortable in it, felt smooth. Um, I'd, I'd paddle real hard and it stayed straight and then I'd stop pedaling and it just tracked straight. It didn't go off to the left or right. Um, and like I said, it was not a bad kayak. For 150 bucks. I mean, you can find this kayak for pretty cheap. I, I recommend getting it. Now, for me, you know, I'm 6'3", 215 pounds. Um, I know I, I drag ass in it and sit pretty low in the water, even further. Uh, with all my gear on it, I don't, I don't think even... Oh, my gear is probably 10 pounds, maybe. But, yeah, I highly recommend this kayak. If you find it, I recommend you get it if you just want to mess around around the bay or just paddle with some friends, you know. Like I said, I'm turning it into a fishing kayak. It's not really 
a fishing kayak, but you know, I'm going to make do with it. And, um, I think it should work out really well. So I haven't posted any videos yet of me being on the bay fishing. Um, I didn't have a camera at the time, so stay tuned for videos of me in it if you're interested in the fishing aspect part of this, of the kayak. Uh, other than that, I don't really know what else I can review about. So if I leave anything out, just go ahead and leave me a comment, and um, I'll get back with uh, some answers to your questions if you have any questions. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, guys.